this, I'm pretty sure, is my water filter. One of my favorite things and something, you know, that I haven't got to do a lot. Um, my brother bought a water filter a few years back and we went camping up in the Uintas. One of the coolest things I ever experienced, I know it seems, you know, it's so basic and, and whatever, but one of my favorite things ever was we found a really awesome clear mountain stream and the kind of stream that, you know, you get there, it's a hot day and the water running through it's crystal clear and ice cold and you just want to fill your bottle and start chugging. But uh, there's always the risk of, of uh, disease and, and uh, parasites and other impurities in the water. And so I finally got myself my own water filter. Um, this was, I want to say $22 from China. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it was around 22 bucks. There's a bunch of different suppliers, but um, this one showed up in about two weeks. And uh, so this is, you just saw the packaging that was on the how it comes shipped. Um, it comes with this nice little case and uh, let's see so there it is seems like it's a little dusty for some reason but not too worried about that rinse it off in the stream um, so then here's the filter itself you can see it's pretty small and lightweight the whole thing weighs you know under a pound and uh, let's see comes with some quality certificates all in Chinese so I don't know what it says. <laughs> so, um, here's an extra little um, O-ring for, I guess it's showing on the, I don't know if you can see that, it shows a little diagram on here of that you have a replacement O-ring for this pumping part. I guess there's a little sliding O-ring in here, or maybe it's not on it yet, maybe it's not a replacement. But, um, and then it looks like this says carbide. I think that's a little bit of sandpaper in here. I'm not sure what that'd be for. Let's see. It is. It's yeah, sandpaper, emery, emery paper. So yeah, some little strips of sandpaper. I guess I'll figure out what that's for. But it comes with that, and then like I said, that this little O-ring. Other than all this paper, here's a manual, and this says has some English words on it, so, oh yeah, see? And then so it has Chinese on this side, English on this side. What's so cool about this one, the one my brother bought had uh, some, some different filters in it that you had to just buy new cartridges to replace them. This is nice, uh, I, was, I was expecting kind of bad tubing. Someone had left a review saying that it was, uh, that they didn't like it, but this is what I was planning on replacing it with if it was bad. I was expecting hard plastic tubing, but this is a nice stretchy rubber. This is a little float so that you can float that right on the water. Here's um, kind of an, a little, it has a little screen in there, which is nice. Here's the clean end hose after the filter. So you stick that in your bottle and then you pump away. And this goes in dirty water and clean water. If I do replace them, I just want them a little longer. Um, but you know this is totally manageable. Just hold this in your hand and sit there pumping away. This one's plenty long. You, know, you can see it's about maybe two and a half feet. So uh, you can open this up, and you can see the filter. Pretty sure it's a ceramic filter though that's supposed to filter out. Let's see. Let's see if it says down to like 0 0.002 microns or something. So it'll filter out basically anything that'll make you sick nice little feature that this is free spinning separate from the cap so you can keep it at whatever angle you want so that tightens back down like that and then undo this one yeah and it does seems uh, like there's some kind of oily lube in here to make this slide smoothly and I don't know if that would affect uh, the water or not, but I imagine, and I, I think they said, uh, you always want to pump, you sit there pumping until the water's coming out really clear, so I'd probably pump a little bit on first use, especially to rinse it all out on the inside, so sit there pumping without uh, filling it into your bottle right off the bat. So I'm here testing out my uh, water filter that I got from AliExpress for $22. Um, so this is a, the brand is Soldier Water Filter. 
comes in this little case, nice leather case, and uh, or, you know, probably plastic leather, whatever that is, that PU stuff. And then it comes out just like this. And this is actually my first use of this. So I'm gonna be filling just this empty plastic water bottle. But to start with, since I've never used this, then I'm gonna set this down in here about where I wanna be filling from. And the, it's good that I'm filling here. It's fast flowing and it's really clear. So, um, I mean, in a survival situation, I'd probably just drink this right out of the river, but now I won't have to risk getting any sort of, you, you never know what could be in the river upstream and polluting the water. And so it's always better just to play it safe and have a, have a nice filter. A good thing to do with any new filter is, is pump some water through it before you're actually pumping into what you're gonna be drinking out of because sometimes there's some oils and stuff from the factory that um, can get in there and they'll just have a sort of a bad taste. And uh, the main reason that I want to do this is because this is probably some of the best tasting water available <laughs> from anywhere. So I'm going to try and set this up in a way that it's not going to be sucking a bunch of dirt and stuff. It does have this little screen, but uh, try and keep it clean anyway. So, oops, still got clean water. There we go. Something like that ought to do. So now, so far nothing. Pump, pump, pump. It feels like it's starting to suck. There we go. And I'm getting water. And you see the first, uh, this first water coming out isn't totally clear. I don't know if you can see that, but it was kind of almost gray at first. Ooh. I'm gonna keep. So this thing just popped off. Um, I'm just gonna solve that by keeping my thumb on here. I might add a piece of duct tape or something later, but for now, as you can see, it's pumping along. And now it's starting to pump really good. So now I'm gonna start filling my bottle. set this aside because now I can just do this and now it's easy pumping so I'm already at about a half a liter maybe a little less somewhere in there I'll show you how long it takes to fill a bottle like this. And I'm pretty much going as fast as I dare go with this thing because it is just made out of plastic. I don't want to break it. So, but I'm going. It is a little bit of work to uh, crank this thing, but I think it's going to be worth it. there there we go nice bottle you can see it's totally clear there's no floaties or anything gross in there so uh, um, let's see how it tastes so it tastes good but I am still getting a bit of the rubber tube taste, which I don't really mind, but I'll bet if I had pumped like maybe a whole bottle's worth, it says, I think it said on the box to do about a half liter before pumping into your bottle. So that might be good to follow because I'm tasting a little bit of something, but.
but overall it's still pretty good. So now, now that I've done a whole bottle, I want to see if it does get better. Now that uh, it should have run through all its stuff that was in there. Let's see how it is. It's better, a little less of that kind of plasticky taste, but it's still there a little bit. So pull the whole thing apart as soon as you get it and rinse all the parts individually. Rinse the filter, rinse all the tubes, rinse all the valves and everything. And just try and get any any like machine oils and, and whatever else they made from the mold that could have got on there. So that would probably help also. But uh, I'm still uh, pretty pleased with this thing because even if it does give it a little bit of a taste, then I'm sure this water's not gonna make me sick. Mm. It's actually not bad. All right, I'm gonna fill this bottle one more time and then I'm gonna hike back down. I think at the end, you're supposed to pump it till it's dry. So you just wanna give it a few to make sure nothing else is coming out. There we go. And then I'm just gonna pack this thing back up and, and head out. sleeve back on and it's good to go all right so I just washed this out and uh, it, the, the taste is totally gone so it's definitely just some sort of oil or something for manufacturing um, as far as the sandpaper strips that come along with it um, I think they're for if the filter the ceramic filter itself gets a um, mineral buildup on it um, from you know hard water and stuff like that then uh, you can sand it down a little because it'll probably get plugged and uh, not so if it ever stops flowing really well then uh, then sand it down really lightly with that so just for a size comparison here's the life straw and uh, I don't know so as you can see that it's a lot smaller takes up a lot less space in your pack than the life straw it's a little heavier the life straw weighs like nothing like an ounce this is like a couple ounces. One thing that I like a lot better about this one is with the Life Straw, there's not really, as far as I can tell, any way to carry clean water with you with it, unless you're like sucking it up and spitting it in your bottle or whatever. I wouldn't call that clean, but um, with this, you can carry clean water. The only way to carry water at all with this, as far as I can tell, is to carry a bunch of dirty water and then suck this up through it somehow, cut off the top of your bottle or something, or if you have a bottle, you can take the whole top off. All right, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a water filter. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick one of these up, but I don't get anything if you buy it or not, so don't do it for me, do it for you. Um, if you wanna help me out, you can share this with someone who you think might be looking for a new water filter, and also you can subscribe. Um, that, that really means a lot to me, so. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.